Hey guys, what's going on? Garen here again. You know, at Zinc Arms, definitely Mr. Rocco Johnson, because without his ass, these videos wouldn't really be able to get done at the good quality they are. If y'all saw my first two or three YouTube videos, that sh sucked. So I'm glad to always have this man with me. All right, today we're here. I got y'all with more Co Saints. Told you guys, he sent us back with a couple of them and definitely going to talk about them. The reason these two are up here is because. I'm sorry, they needed to be combined a little bit just because there's not a whole lot to talk about with this one because it shoots as flat as a nine millimeter. And I'm not bullshitting you. You'll see the videos, you'll see the shooting footage of it. This is a Cosync 10 millimeter double stack, 10 millimeter, 2011 or 1911 double stack. Holds 16 plus one in the mag. 16 plus one of 10 millimeter. Can I tell you, I love this gun. Is it is it spent? No. <laughs> oh my God! What is it? Seven? It's seventeen. Oh, seventeen in it. Jesus. <laughs> love 10 millimeters one of my favorite carry rounds y'all can say what y'all want yes i'm a douchebag if i if i have to use it hey so be it but i love 10 millimeters 10 millimeters i have always had a sweet spot in my heart and this firearm here just took over the whole sweet spot when i say this thing with the v v ports on the barrel that mbx magazine that's just you can tell it's got a good fit and finish, the grip, everything. I love this gun and look how how easy. You you can wrap this mother. Ooh, I need to clean it again before I send it back. I am sending these back. They were just on loan for us to test out and shoot videos on. But that gun is just so damn smooth and so damn great. I love the color on here, the pattern he did. I'm normally not a camel pattern guy at all. But I love this one. It just looks great. But I think it's also, you know, black and gray. Matches my logo. Matches my favorite colors. I think that might be another reason why I love it so much. But I can't speak highly enough of this. It's optics ready. I'm going to say I don't have a trigger gauge or anything. But I'm actually going to tell you this trigger is probably pulling at maybe four pounds. Three and a half, four pounds. If not a little bit lighter. And it just shoots so smooth and so flat. V, even with the V ports, everything, this gun is beyond smooth. I love it. It's great. Now, on the other hand, you have this one, the nice little subcompact 45. Make sure we clear it for you guys with the MBX magazine. I love it. The chunk port, the chunk ports at the top of the slide, optics cut, fiber optic front sight with the combat rear sight. This thing is great. Feels good in the hand. It shoots smooth. And that trigger pull, that, that trigger pull is just oh so lovely. If you see it, we just barely got to touch it. And then touch the reset. There's the reset on that thing. I love it. You, as soon as you reset it, you're right there on the wall. When I say this thing is amazing, and shoots great, shoots flat, shoots smoothly. And don't worry, nobody's over here. It's just an empty wall. But this thing just shoots smoothly. It's beyond great. I love it. Fail to fight, fail to feed. 
Why is your thumbs with it? That's what he was having. Slide, slide. It's like... Hey guys, so we filmed this a little bit later. Wanted to get some definite, definitive, further thoughts on the gun and everything and talk to uh, Greg down at Coast St. Arms. But we did to have a couple issues. You know, I'm not gonna hold anything back from you guys, but we had a couple issues with a couple of the guns. Like, and then the subcompact 45 thing was great. It was a blast to shoot. I could see that definitely being an everyday carry. But that one actually had several uh, failure to extract issues and the uh, trigger on that one in the 9 mil both had a lot of issues for some reason with resetting and properly pulling where it got to the point after about excuse me got to about after I'm gonna say maybe 200 rounds 250 that you had to pull the trigger like two or three times to get it to fire and everything that was a major concern and everything because if it's wearing out that quick with us, that might be an issue for y'all. But at the same time, I know those guns have been through a lot of testing. Again, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I, we don't know how many rounds were fired through there before we got them and had them for testing. And pretty much they were prototypes. They were definitely prototypes as he discussed and told us before we even left with them. Especially the Gerson, uh, the Witness 2311. That was their first and initial prototype. So definitely don't take this with a big grain of salt because being a prototype, you're running into issues. We were pretty much t and &E testing and evaluating it. And that was the whole purpose is to go back and let him know whatever issues and everything we had on it. It's just no matter what, we had fun shooting them. I had fun shooting them. I like them. I'm still going to get me a, a Cosane Arms, one or two of them, as everyday carries and to go into the safe. Like I said... 45 ACP, 12 plus one in the mag, and just shoots absolutely amazingly. The chunk ports, well I say it does a whole lot with the muzzle flip or the recoil control. For a lot of people it probably does. But shoots smooth as hell, flat as hell. So I'ma say the chunk ports work. It doesn't give you a whole lot of extra flash out the barrel or anything, doesn't obstruct your view when you, you can still make those quick, accurate follow-up shots, especially with how crisp that trigger is and how smooth it is. Man, this gun is amazing. I love the color, the texture on the grip and everything. And you know what? I forgot to mention it, but here, I'll show you guys on this one. That reset on this thing is on the trigger, still empty. That trigger, we right there on the wall, break. The reset is, I actually had to, I let it out too far. I actually got it. Let's see. There we go. And then, you're right there on the wall. Let's see. Man, man, let me tell you. The first time we shot this gun, holding it, I was already happy. And beyond happy with it. But the first time we shot it, almost just in my pants. It felt that good. It's just, I love it. This is what you want in a 10 millimeter. This is what you want in a subcompact 45. Now, the battery of arms, how to use it, everything, sweeping that safety off, because you're damn sure not carrying one of these without that safety on. It's amazing and it's great. I love it. If I had 
the money to just blow and go and spend on stuff, I would buy this gun, buy both of them right now. Unfortunately, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> and you know, YouTube doesn't love us gun tubers. But these are two guns I can tell you right now, if you were to buy them and everything, you would not be disappointed. And if you're a person that's been looking at the Staccatos or what's that other company? Uh, you know what? I'm not even one. I don't care about the companies. If you've been looking at 2011s, anything like that, that's not going to so-called break the bank as far as you getting into the five, six, seven thousand dollar range. These are where you want to go. Absolutely, hands down. I would go with these. If I did it over again before I bought my Staccatos, I'd have bought these. I still am going to look into buying these, so I suggest you guys do it. Like I said, I love them. If you guys got any questions, anything like that, always hit me up. We'll drop the contact information, the Instagram, website, everything for Cosing in the description. Thanks for checking us out, guys. I really can't say enough about these guns. But, yeah, if y'all want to know more, you want more, got any questions or anything, don't be afraid to hit me up. Hit me up on Instagram, email me, whatever you want to do. All right. Appreciate y'all guys for checking us out again. Thank you. Stay safe. Be your own first responder. And stay vigilant. All right.